thought this would be a good video. <sighs> I'm uh, super late on this because yesterday was chock a block full of news. So much so, videos were releasing. I think past like 1, 2 a.m., something like that. My time, anyway. Um, it's all about Amber Heard and the petition and the kind of ins and outs behind it. It's it's fascinating. It is really, really grown. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this much. Bear in mind, I'm going to use some negative words now, but I'm not saying that it's not warranted. Hate and vitriol uh, against someone. I don't think I've ever seen it. Like, not, not this much. You know, with petitions and things like that. I said that weird. Petitions. Uh, signed and all this kind of stuff. It's mental. It's absolutely insane. Um, so we're going to dive into this today. Uh, I've got two reports to take a look at. I'll leave them linked down below. Uh, before we do, guys, I have got my Xenomorph Christmas sweater. Uh, if you grab them soon, I believe that they will actually even appear before the festive uh, day itself. So check it out down below. They are a one-of-a-kind design designed for me, for you, by my graphic designer. Check it out. Also, I'm still funding... Well, I'm still looking for support anyway for my uh, crowdfunded short film. It's a psychological horror in the world of Lovecraft. Check it out. There's a link as well as a pitch uh, and a plot synopsis. Anyway, get my grubby mitts into this, shall we? <laughs> oh, side note, everyone, everyone seemed to love Jasper's um, random pop-up yesterday uh, in the Terminator Dark Fate video. He's currently here, just chilling out at the moment. Bless him. It was quite funny. Um, people are like, we need a Jasper channel. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. He doesn't really do anything that exciting, though. Um, but he is quite funny. Anyway, moving on. So, like, Amber Heard. I think what's so interesting about this, we, we've had this petition going for some time, ever since the first sort of claims came out, basically. Because um, people, it was last year, people were like, nope, get her off. Get her out of Aquaman 2. Okay, that's what people wanted anyway, so they started this petition. Um, but also, they, I think the, the main point of it as well was like, you know, let's not, let's not overshadow uh, domestic abuse against men, right? You know, uh, with, with women and things like that and saying like one's better than the other, one's fine or one's worse, so on and so forth. Um, but then it also started to develop more and more since there were some court cases that have happened. So there, there are two running, or there was, anyway. There was one in the UK, which wasn't Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. People seem to be confused by that. It was actually Johnny Depp versus a newspaper, The Sun, if you can call it that. Um, which he lost, uh, and he's appealed. I think he's lost that appeal as well. But there is also the other... Uh, court case which is happening in Virginia which is with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard directly and that is with them you know specifically uh, against one another um, and whatever you think of you know Warner Brothers ruling to ask Johnny Depp to step down from Fantastic Beasts 3 you do have to believe that it's quite premature because they did that under the, under the, the premise that well, they did that with a reasoning that he lost the court case with the son. So people can label him a wife beater now, legally in the UK. Because um, there's a legal precedent for it. However, it's pretty preemptive, that firing of Johnny Depp. Because what if he wins the court case in Virginia? It's interesting, isn't it? I do find that to be fascinating. But anyway, because of all of that, the public have spoken out. Uh, and universally... Near universally, it's all in support of Johnny Depp, actually. Um, and there are the odd people that jump onto these videos and go, Ooh, fuck Johnny Depp and all this kind of stuff. And that's fine. Like, again, you can have your opinion. It's whatever, really. Um, but the overwhelming majority are pro-Depp and uh, against Amber Heard, which is interesting. It's interesting to see the sort of the turning of the tide, I guess, with this kind of, like, believe all mentality and people are questioning it a lot more. So anyway, this article uh, opens up with a petition asking Warner Brothers to remove Amber Heard from Aquaman 2 has now surpassed 1.5 million signatures. 1.5! The actress recently worked on the reshoots for Zack Snyder's Justice League and is expected to return in Aquaman's sequel, which is tentatively dated for a 2022 release. Uh, like ex-husband Johnny Depp, Heard has been embroiled in a legal battle with the recently fired Fantastic Beast star. Recently, a UK judge decided that The Sun was within its rights to brand Depp a wife beater, but a long list of damaging allegations were also levelled at Heard during the widely covered court case, and neither of them came out looking particularly good. That's the thing, right? There's no party here looking good. 
And it is interesting how Warner Brothers have kind of drawn their line in the sand. Again, I'm again I'm not saying either is good or bad. I'm just saying it's interesting to see where they are lining themselves. Now it continues further, and it says the change.org petition was actually created several years ago. Ah, oh, sorry, my mistake. I thought it was created last year. Uh, but has gained traction in recent weeks. In 2019, it was reported that Depp had pushed Warner Brothers to remove Heard from the first Aquaman film. Uh, recently, the actor was asked to resign from Fantastic Beasts 3 as uh, Grindelwald, and it, but he's still going to room 10 million. I didn't realize it was 10 million. He's still going to get 10 million. What a boss. How stupid you are, Warner Brothers. Uh, because, of course, it's interesting now that. Um, that they, they, they fired. I can't believe it's 10 million. God damn. <sighs> so I did a report on it, but I didn't have the uh, figures to hand at that point. So he's going to get $10 million for not working on Fantastic Beast 3. And Mads Mikkelsen is going to come in and still have to get a pretty hefty paycheck as well. <sighs> You've really shot yourself in the foot, Warner Brothers. You really have. Uh, so anyway, and this is what I find fascinating, right? Is that Heard seems she, she's one of these people that just buries her head in the sand apparently it's all paid campaigns it can't be that the overwhelming majority of people think that you're a scumbag no it can't possibly be that so of course not of course that's why you had to turn the comments off on your instagram wasn't it i remember that as well that was fascinating so recently heard told reporters that paid rumors you mean the things that were in the court case they didn't seem very paid at that point. Uh, and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions, but they have no uh, because they have no basis in reality. Interesting, but they do when they're levelled against you in a court case, which one is still happening in Virginia. So what's going to happen then? What's going to be your defence then? And this is what I mean: when people pipe up too too much too soon, you're going to look out. You're going to come out with egg on your face, right? Egg on my face. You're going to look like an idiot. So anyway, um, and then we have this as well. So this is just the article by Deadline covering the whole thing. But it's just fascinating. It is 1,579, uh, 1,579,000. Nearly uh, 1,580,000 signatures. That is insane. It really is insane. Um, now, again, it's the description it is very specific, you know, known and proven domestic abuser that's the thing they some of these things are coming out now which is yeah pretty insane um and this is the sentiment here which i agree with men are victims of domestic abuse just like women this must be recognized and action must be taken to prevent a known abuser from being celebrated within the entertainment industry do the right thing remove amber heard from Aquaman 2 a sentiment which you know i'm not all for cancel culture but the opening to the sentiment I get on board with for sure, and I do. I just, again, I just find it fascinating that Warner Brothers has chosen because they have chosen. They've chosen a side in this. But what happens if Heard loses the court case in Virginia? What, what are they going to do? They're just going to sack her? They're going to have to, right? You've set a precedent. So anyway, love to hear your thoughts. So please do let me know down below in the comment section. Any and all thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Mr. H. Take care.